Hey, what's up? This is Mike Locke with ML Web Consulting. I'm here with another how-to video. And I'm going to show you how to uh, include recent posts, recent blog posts, um, sort of like component on your homepage. Uh, this is a cool plugin from WordPress and it allows you to easily uh, have uh, recent blog posts on your homepage. Now, you've probably gone to uh, websites where you've seen that and you probably wondered how they do that, um, but it's pretty simple. The first thing you do, uh, to, in order to uh, accomplish this, you want to first create a home page template in WordPress. And I created another video, uh, if you haven't seen that already, uh, watch that video and it sh I show you how to create a, a custom home page template for your WordPress blog um, so that when someone comes to your blog home page, they get a your customized HTML page rather than uh, the standard blog look and feel. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go to the the WordPress or the plugin uh, website, which is WordPress.org forward slash extend forward slash plugins forward slash recent posts. Okay, then you download the zip file here, this little orange button. Once you download that zip file, it's going to be a recent post.zip. And you want to unzip that, and uh, there's going to be one file, which is the recent post, recent post.php file. All you do is FTP that to your your uh, plugins folder, and on your server under uh, Word, WP Contents forward slash plugins. All you do is just FTP that. I already done that here. And then once you've done that, you go in, you log into your WordPress admin and go to the plugin section. I'm using version 2.8.5 so yours might be a little different if you're not using that version but you go here and you find the recent post plugin on the list and you activate that if it's not activated already. You just want to click the activate and you can deactivate it really easily by clicking this button here. Mine is currently activated. So um, once you've done that, you go over to... Once you've done that, it's pretty simple at this point. All you want to do is include a little piece of code on your WordPress template. So in this case, let's go back to my home page. Um, And in this section of my page, I'm going to add the little snippet of code. And here's the code that you want to add, everything that I'm highlighting here. It's pretty simple. Just the brackets, question mark, PHP, space, MDV, underscore recent, underscore post, in parentheses, three. The, the number here is the number of posts that you wish to display. And notice that I wrap these in the UL tag because this particular script is only going to output the list sort of like this. It's going, you know, your your the output HTML code will look something like this and it won't be styled. So if what you want to do is wrap this code around a UL, and you can give that UL um, you can style it with using CSS and um, the end result will be something like this where you can have your your list will be displayed with your styled bullet points which I've done. I've also included this file on my WordPress blog so you see my list here it's on the right and it's a different style same thing I just included that same script in the sidebar of my WordPress template, the, the sidebar template, and I've given it a different style. And uh, I think I'm listing here 15, um, 15 posts. So that's pretty much it. You can now then take that plugin and start popping it in anywhere you want to to show recent posts. So that's it. Um, it's very simple. Um, 
Uh, hopefully this was helpful. You know, if you have any questions, shoot me an email, mlock at mlwebco.com. If you, if you thought this video was helpful, um, leave a comment, subscribe to my, um, my channel, and uh, look out for more videos to come. All right, take care.